Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're coming to you with another video about uh, some Ravens gameplay from Sunday in a win versus the Chargers. Uh, today's subject of this podcast, this virtual podcast, this video podcast, is... And he says, why so serious? So if you recognize that voice, you know that's Heath, Heath Ledger playing the Joker from the Batman movie. And uh, I think one is probably one of the greatest movies ever made. Uh, definitely one of the greatest um, act. I'm sorry, get one of the greatest performances by an actor uh, in a movie. Uh, I think that was his last role or right, possibly close to being his last role, but he played the crap out of that. And uh, so obviously, you know, today's video is about the Joker and uh, he did some of everything um, Sunday. Had um, two pass breaks up, two passes defended, a sack, a tackle for loss, um, INT, and really he, to me he was our defensive MVP. So let's just get into the video of uh, Deshaun Elliott, aka the Joker. If this is your first time here, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button also, and if you want to be notified when these videos drop because they are randomly, you'll click that notification bell and click all. But here we go. All right, Joker. Let's highlight him. Let's find him. Uh, I think this is him here. Way back here, right? This is the first play I got. No rent, no order of what happened. This is, I got four good plays on the Joker. Let's let it run. So he went from a deep safety to a kind of a box guy. Hey, took it from him. Took it from him. Take it from him. You see him right there. Start off back here deep. Gonna work his way in the box when they come in motion. You can't really see it there. Undercut it. Both of them really caught it. And he just takes it from him. Just takes it from him. So let's go back to this um, all 22 view and see what goes on. Bag it up slowly, 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 slowly. All right, again, they start in this look right here. And I think it's cover one. I think the Marlon, whoever that is, and I think that's Chuck, got these three guys. I think it's cover one, and Deshaun was originally going to be the, the free safety. But when 15 goes in motion, that brings Deshaun down to cover the tight end. That makes a Averett cover 15 once he gets over there. And now these two guys still in motion. And he drops back. Chuck now drops back and is the, the free guy. I think that's what's going on. Now he plays outside leverage because he knows he has help on inside. He has uh, Queen, which I think Queen has that dude. Fort probably is the robber that's going to sit in the middle. Uh, and Chuck is the deep guy. Uh, the, the tight end kind of gives him a little outside move to widen him a little bit. But he doesn't go for it. Now, what I will say is, if this is cover one, his eyes should not be in that doggone backfield. I will say that. His eyes should not be in that doggone backfield. The only people should be looking in the backfield is Fort and um, Chuck Clark. Everybody else should be on their man. You see Marlo eyes on his man. His eyes there. Avery eyes there. Queen eyes there. His eyes should not be in his backfield. I will say that. But if his eyes not in the backfield, he probably don't see, he probably don't see this ball thrown. So this is a mistake, but a good mistake because it, it ended up putting him in a, a position to go after the ball. Ball was kind of thrown behind him, and he and you know he can react on it because he was looking in the backfield, and the tight end's route really didn't help. Tight end try to push him out, and you want to try to bend this thing back toward the middle, but you can't bend it back toward the middle too much because you got the safety sitting here. So he tried to bend it and stay skinny, and by him staying skinny, Chuck was able to stay under it. And the ball not being in front of the tight end allowed um, the Joker to get it. Now he can't. He ideally he really want to bend this thing in here, but you can't because the free safety is there. So he's trying to stay skinny, and he kind of throws it behind him, almost to his back shoulder. Deshaun just extends and takes it from him. Just takes it from him. Great play. One of many great plays by, by Deshaun Elliott um, in this game. Let's go on to play two. 
All right, let's see if I can locate. Locate, locate, locate. That's Avery. That's Chuck. I think that's Tavon. I think, oh, I found him. Here he is. Right there. Make this smaller. There he is, right there. Let's see what's going on. At the line with, how many people they got at the line? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine guys at the line of scrimmage. Uh, two kind of guys kind of off. You really don't know where it's coming from. You don't know where the pressure coming from. Mm. Couldn't be blocked. Did we rush more than they had to protect? Let's see. I can't tell yet. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five guys rushing. They got one, two, three, four, five, six to protect. So, no, nah, we just, they just didn't know where to go. They didn't know where to slide to. So they had enough to block it up. The running back didn't block anybody. And they're probably a double team in there somewhere and it shouldn't be. Yep, it's a double team right here on whoever this is. I can't tell who that is. Which allowed uh, Elliot to be free. And he didn't miss. A double team board for some reason. Elliot bent that corner tight. Bent that corner real tight, right off the tackle. And we got the quarterback. Let's see if I got the back view of this. I think I do. Yep, there we go. Watch how tight he bent this corner behind 74. Dip that and get him come flat. He has nowhere to go. If he would have took this same angle, Herbert could have stepped up and, you know, maybe made a throw downfield. But because he came through here and then dipped and got flat, Herbert had nowhere to go, especially with the back being on this side over here. Nowhere to go. And look, and you got to push up front too, so he can't really step up because they pushed the pocket up front. Board, uh, board pushed it. Uh, who else is this? Always here. Uh, this is Calais. All them guys pushed the pocket, so he really didn't have anywhere to go. Good job, execute. Good job of team execution right there. Bowser got in late. Where Bowser come from? Bowser's in over here on seventy. No, Bowser got right beside him. Bowser beat seventy four inside. So even if he don't come free, Bowser right on his butt too. That's a good job. Good job defense right there. I'll go to play three. So we've seen the sack so far, and we've seen the interception. Let's see. Let's see. I, I was talking and wasn't paying attention. All right, that's Tavon. So this is Elliot here. He's bumping Tavon out to, I guess, to guard this guy. and He's maybe going to guard him. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, no. Nah, he ain't guarding him. He coming. Hey, this is one of his pressures. I think he got two QB pressures, too. This is one of the QB pressures. So we bag Tavon. Oh, this Chuck over here. Chuck over here talking. Watch Chuck getting the right. Chuck getting Tavon and uh, Elliot right. That's why he wear the green dot. Those little things right here that happened before the play, getting people lined up and in the places they're supposed to be in. He walks up at the end. Comes on the outside of O-Way. They don't recognize it. Matter of fact, they... they, they um, they empty. They ain't empty. We bringing pressure. Guys, peep this out. I didn't, I didn't see this at first. You're getting pressure with four. Even though it's a blitz, we're getting pressure with four. Excuse me. We're getting pressure with four. All the people rushing are Calais Camel, Juicy, Owe, and um, Elliot. Got pressure with four. I think this was a third down maybe. Third or fourth down where they didn't get it. Big stop. They tried to throw a little route to Eckler while being guarded by Marlon Humphreys, which that ain't really smart. But this is one of the few times, and we kind of know, when they don't send the mic out there, that we're in zone. And when I saw Eckler go out there in the flats and Marlon was out there, I knew we were in zone. Knew we were, knew we, knew we were in zone. But the fact that we only rushed four, even though it looked like it was something different during the game, we only rushed four, that's great. And we complain about get, not getting pressure with four and five and whatnot, but we're starting to do that. And Wink is doing it in a, in a variety of ways. I was going to play four, which will be the last play I have for you today. Let's see if I can find them. Birdland BS is live. Um, I think this is him here, I think. I think. Let me let it play for a second. 
Yeah, that's him. Good job. Good PBU. This was a third third and third and ten. Good good PBU. What I want to show is now let's watch him. Let's watch him the whole time. Pause. There we go. Here he is right here. He's gonna get in his drop. Now watch watch. He's looking for anything coming across his face. He see the tight end. He's going right to him. And by him not hesitating, he's able to get there and get be a part of it. A lot of guys will see that coming and kind of wait and let it, you know, let it, let it develop, and then it's too late. He goes to it right now. And one thing I like about this is we have basically two different coverages in, 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 in football. You have man coverage, you have zone coverage. I tend to think you have one coverage in football, man. And the thing is, is the difference is when you're in man, you follow that guy wherever he goes. When you're in zone, you play man on a guy that's in your zone. That's my that's my philosophy on it. You know, I could be wrong, but that's my two cents on it. Yeah, whatever this circle or square or rectangle of the field area I got, I'm playing man on the guy in that in that spot. But it's still man. You just ain't chasing the guy all over the field. And so this guy comes to his zone, he go to him right now. And he's able to get in there and help you with the PBU. And again, look at you know, if you haven't seen it, this guy's stat line. And I and I I may not give you the whole stats, but he had um I know two QB hurries. Uh, he had a tackle for loss, which I was looking for and I couldn't find it. Uh, he had an interception. He had um, the PBUs. And he was just all over the darn field. All, I mean, he made a huge impact. He was by far the best defensive player that Sunday, like stat-wise and showing up and making big splash plays. And so um, I think he deserved his own video today. And that's what we got, um, Deshaun Elliott. The Joker, why so serious? And um, hey, I appreciate you. Soon we got another video coming out. Soon I really want to take a look at um, Owe versus uh, who was the left tackle? That rookie left tackle to see how that played out. Had had a chance to just look at that matchup one on one, and then um, we can look at kind of the running back stuff too. We'll take a look at all three of our veteran running backs and and see how they helped um, you know, matriculate 187 yards rushing uh, this game. But this is the first video of the week of the Chargers week. Um, looking forward to the other two, putting out the other two videos, and I'll see you guys soon. See you when I see you. Peace.